I wanted to explain this video before we start. This video took me two and a half hours to record, so I'm not going to show everything. I took out the best moments and I'm going to give live commentary to explain what is happening. This is not a gaming video, but more of an experiment. I'm going to talk about what it was like and how difficult it was to train the amiibo. So stick around to get my answers to that. I also wanted to note that since my Nintendo Switch is in the original language of Dutch, that some words that are essential to this video will not be very logical. So I want to let you know that anytime in the video where you see this appear on the screen, it means that my amiibo has leveled up. And with that out of the way, I hope you can now fully enjoy this video. When you begin training your amiibo, they are not able to do anything since they haven't learned anything. Everything you do will be copied by your amiibo and after learning a certain amount of skills, your amiibo will level up. The problem with this is that when you are bad at the game, the amiibo will not be very good at level 50. However, with the right amount of skill, you will be able to create an overpowered beast. After playing with your amiibos for a while, you start noticing that they get strong very quickly. The first 30 levels will be very easy to achieve, but the last 20 after that point are the hard part. It took me two and a half hours to record this video, so I took the best moments out of those hours and put them together for you guys to watch. Since this was all recorded in one night, I had a podcast running on my second screen just so I wouldn't get bored. But when I rewatched my old recordings, I see that not only did I train the amiibo, I also passively trained myself. I mean, it took way too long for me to figure this out, but after 67 hours in this game, I finally found out how you can do an Ultra Smash. I really liked making this video because it was a video where you could actually see what I was doing, instead of just hearing me talk about what should be done in the world of Nintendo. Going back to the video, however, Seeing that Steve was getting really overpowered meant that I had to level up my game. This means that I might have googled some tips and tricks to help me out. Steve learned to use items and do his Ultra Smash very quickly, which made fighting him even more of a challenge than a task. I won most of the battles, because, quite frankly, Steve wasn't that hard to beat. It could be that I didn't train him hard enough, or that the character of Steve himself wasn't that good, but anyways, I had fun training him. Training Amiibos is really fun if you have the Smash Bros game, but nobody to play it with. I personally have 16 Amiibos with Smash compatibility, and I don't regret buying any of them. If you have 20 bucks to spend and you happen to wander into a gaming store, please consider buying one. Maybe even a pre-owned one to save some money, but for instance, I stopped collecting Amiibos in 2016, but got back into it when I saw the Min Min Amiibo was 6 bucks over on Amazon. And if you don't have any amiibos and you want to buy one, look for an amiibo that has compatibility in multiple games like Mario Kart or a Zelda game of some sort. This will give you multiple reasons to buy one and will also make it worth your money. Seeing Steve or any other amiibo near the end of their training was amazing. Not only could I stop recording and take a hot shower, which I wanted to do two and a half hours before recording, but I could also see where my time went. Steve was an amiibo with less skill than Mario, for instance. This, however, did not change the entertainment I had whilst training him. Amiibo fighters in Smash are designed to be, good, designed to be a good opponent for its owner. If you are low skilled, the amiibo will copy that. This works the same for highly skilled players. To see that Nintendo took the time to take a fair opponent to anyone willing to pay 15 bucks at the time is amazing. Sure, it should not be pay to play, but I like it anyways. This gives me a reason to go to the dying art of game stores. Because, I mean, at the time of recording, I went to a game store last night and bought a Link and Inkling amiibo. If you liked this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more content like this. This video was an experiment to see if you guys would like to see more gameplay videos on this channel. I also want to take this time to make you guys aware that I will be asking questions for videos in my community tab. If you are subscribed to my channel, the community post should show up to your recommended page. This video took me a long time to make since my editing software crashed in the middle of editing and I lost all my progress, but I managed to finish it. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you on the next one.